face. And I take it from your accent, you're an old one. Klaus. My reputation precedes me. Hopefully not all bad. A little bad. Mostly repulsive. So you're a friend of Tyler's. That's strange. He's never mentioned you. You should go to the party. And I think I know why. Well, don't let me interrupt. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Mm. No, I just popped round to celebrate Dean's successful retrieval of the vampire hunter. Yeah. When I arrived, I learned that not only was Dean unsuccessful, but that Elena killed the hunter. Well, maybe if you had let Dean use force on Connor instead of sending him in on a suicide mission. Maybe you should mind your business, wolf girl. Would you care if Connor's dead anyway? I have my reasons. They've ceased to matter. Cheers. Stuff. Going somewhere. When I said don't let her out of your sight, what did you think I meant? It's not his fault. It's mine. I was distracting you. It's my fault she got away. Now maybe you should be the one to die for it. No one has to die. Did I not say mind your business? Tyler's covering for me. I'm the one that let her go. No. You want someone dead? Go ahead. Kill me. I'd rather die anyway than end up as one of your sired little bitches. Mm, tempt me, little wolf. They didn't waste any time, did they? I never answered your question. If I'd ever thought about being human. Once. I was on a trek in the Andes. And a hummingbird flew up to me. It just hovered there, staring at me. Its tiny heart was pattering like a machine gun. And I thought, what a thing. You know, to have to work that hard every day, just to stay alive. To be constantly on the verge of death. And how satisfying every day must be that it survived. And that was the only time I thought about being human. What's he saying? A bunch of BS about being human. The sooner we get rid of this guy, the better. She doesn't like me much.